Hi guys, Master Indigo here. Today we are taking a look how you can install Birdleaf for Payday 2, which is required if you want to install Payday 2 custom heists, custom weapons, custom masks, and so on. First off, we will need Payday 2 BLT, so head down to paydaymods.com. Don't worry, the all links are down in description, so you can just link, click the link down there. On paydaymods.com, click down the Payday 2 BLT page here. Okay, then scroll down until you can see the download button here and the latest version of BLD is available below and press that download here. It will quickly download it, it's a small file and then when we have it just you will need something to open the file. Most likely your PC already has something installed like WinRAW, WinZip, 7-zip or something like that, but if not google 7-zip and just download that Then you can just open it. It's a w two files one old folder one file So let's put that to the side for a while So on Steam Just search for payday 2 if you have so many games as I do and right click and go to properties. If your Steam is in different language, just right click and take the bottom one here. Then on the third tab here is local files. Again, they are in same position even your, if your Steam is in different language. Just press that and browse local files. Then there will be a pop-up that will show you the folder. Let's see, mine is in a different screen here. So that should be it. For pur purpose of this video, this is not the actual Steam folder. I already have some mod installed here, so I just created another that looks like the real one. So anyway, this is how your Steam folder should look like. There might be something different here. Maybe you don't have the soundtracks or probably don't have this. Anyways, now just open up BLT file. RAR, ZIP, anything that you want and you have these two files, just both and just throw them in like that, that's it you now have BLT installed for Payday 2 it is just that simple next step of course is to install Payday 2 Birdlip go to down to lastbullet.net and you can find Birdlip there you can maybe google it, it will automatically search better than the last bullet's own search engine so now on the last bullet has changed a bit so click on the download button here and again it downloads a small zip file which you need to open and after that head down to the payday 2 directory open up the mods folder like that and just track the birdlip folder there so it should like look like this now and that's it. Birdlip is now installed. Now you can actually install custom heists, custom everything pretty much. But some some mods require you to have mod overrides folder like custom weapons did. So go one back here. Go inside the assets folder. This is empty for me, but it's actually not empty. It's full of bundle files. Uh, as you can see, if I open the real one, let's see, uh, well, oh well, I closed it already. So this is not empty if your game is installed correctly. Anyways, go on and click right and new folder and name it mod under slash overrides, like that. Just create a new folder and that's it. So pretty much all PD2 mods will go inside here or inside the mods folder most like texture mods and something like that will go inside the mod overrides folder and most other stuff will go inside the mods folder so now that we have birdlip and blt let's close those two and here we have a transfer frenzy 2.0 a custom heist if you want to play this press download here it's pretty small as well. Open up the zip file 
and usually there is a s slight description where you should put it download the BLT extract and put it into payday2 slash mods so we will go inside the mods folder and just track the folder here uh, it is important that you track the folder and not the zip file because it will not f work if you just copy this one there so not like that the folder needs to be extracted so winraw, winzip, 7zip so on so that's it we have installed transfer frenzy and whenever we open up payday 2 it should work now it's under contractors quaker 3 and you can play transfer frenzy now Akimbo FNG 9s are custom weapons and most custom weapons at least all of I have installed they are a little bit bigger because they have different textures different models and so on than basic weapons so might take a while to download it so then just open the file once again with zip opener and go back and actually go this time to the mod overrides folder and drag it down there it has some files that I actually first time thought that it would go here but it does go inside the assets and mod overrides folder as you can see here extract archive content to mod overrides if you are not sure how to write the mod overrides you can just copy it from here and create the folder yourself but I can actually leave down that in the description down below as well so that's pretty much all how you need to install these mods but if you have anything to ask as below I'll try to answer your questions the best I know actually there is one different thing the out of frame heist is the custom heist but it requires something else let's google out of frame it's the last bullet here but you will need either shatter heist or restoration mod so if you only download out of frame and put it inside it will not work so let's google the shatter heists that's quicker and it's the first result here so first off download shatter heists here and let's download out of frame as well so now those two are waiting so shatter heists is open it's only like that mods assets so this one actually goes into both so whenever you open the folder it will look like this shatter heists how am I supposed to know where this goes so go inside you can see mods and assets so mods and assets that should be fairly easy just copy these two like this to help using both overrides and the mods folder so just track these two here and now we have shatter heists insol installed now that shat shatter heist is installed we can install out of frame open up that zip file and actually if you didn't know this is a little bit different go into the out of frame folder or page and you can actually see put the out of frame folder in payday2 slash map so in here payday2 folder create a new folder called maps and now open up the file here out of frame that's it now just drag that into the maps and that's it you have now out of frame customized installed as well i think out of frame is currently the only one that uses the payday2 slash maps most use the payday2 slash mods like transfer frenzy does but there currently aren't that many custom maps sadly so that's that's <laughs> sad anyways that's pretty much all i hope you can get something out of this video and as i already said if you have any questions ask below i'll try to answer them and if you can't install some mods make sure you read the installation guide every mod should have at least a small description where to put the mods because sometimes they go into mods sometimes they go to assets slash mod override like here anyways i hope this was at least somewhat valuable to you and 
as always, have a good one. Master Indigo, signing out.